Josh Green here for Tanks and Tales. Delighted to be joined by David Evans. Uh, how are you doing, mate? Not too bad, Josh. Thank you. How are you? Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Um, we spoke briefly off camera there. Pro Tour last week up in Barnsley. Two wins in the first round. They've been quite difficult to come by, we'd have to say, over the last year. But I'm sure a real boost in confidence to get those two wins. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's not been the best a couple of years for me, but um, it's nice to start playing well again. Um, and so, like, you do get to play games that are 95, 96 averages and you still end up losing. So it, it is good to get um, to get the first two wins on the board. Mm. Which, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do you feel like the game's sort of maybe a dipped a little bit and you're starting to work it back into a better place now? Yeah, yeah, it did. Um, I noticed for the last over the last couple of months, it it, it did drop down a bit. Um, but uh, I know obviously practicing um, different things like that as well, and obviously getting the confidence um, from my friends and family and um, and a couple of pros on the tour as well. You know, Stephen Bunting, Joe Mernon, they've always been giving me the um, the booster that I need. So um, it's nice to be back playing well again. And you mentioned. Joe and Stephen there, two great players to learn from. Stephen, obviously a former world champion, been on the pro tour for God knows how many years now, eight, nine, yeah, ten yeah. years probably. And and Joe, another another man, he's been through those dips like you have, but he's come yeah. back and he's playing some good darts as well. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and that all comes down to practice, I would believe. You know, he's, he's practicing just as hard as I am. Um, so it's, uh, and it's showing that, um, you know, he's, he's, I think first couple of couple of months or something like that, he didn't average below below a hundred, and he still lost, you know. Yeah. But um, that that's the aim of the game at the minute, you know. It's it, that is what you do. Um, be very lucky if you win a tournament with a less than ninety five average, you know. <laughs> it's um, it's very difficult, but no, it's it's good to see that we're all putting the hard work in and and that it is working. Mm. How has how has the the pro tour been mentally for you over the last? 18 months because you had your moments where you've produced some some great performances but it's it's a difficult place when you're not playing so well isn't it yeah it, it feels like the whole world's swallowing you up when you're not playing well um but then you know you just gotta you've got to keep going got to keep plodding on and, and trying your best you know you can't can't suddenly just go oh i'm not playing well i'm not going to that one next time mm. Yeah, you've got to keep trying. You've got to keep practicing because you know deep down, like in there, that it is there. Yeah. Um, you just got to bring it out. So you know, with um, the backing of friends, family, and obviously um, practice partners as well, it it does come back, and you just got to have that confidence. Mm. And I'm sure you look around the room. You're in the top 128 players mm -hmm. in the world, and you look at the room and the sort of players that you're up against. The Marco Van Gerwens of the world, the mm -hmm. Peter Wrights, the Gerwin Prices. You're in that group of players where you're you're competing for the same titles as them. That's got to be a, a positive. Of course it is. Of course it is. If, if if you look like you say, if you look around the room, you have got Michael Van Gogh and Peter Wright, Gogh and Price, you know, and and all the all the others, you know, Johnny Clayton's, Joe Collins, and they, you've got most of those players, if not all of them, when they're there, playing in the Premier League, playing in the World Championships year in year out, playing in loads of TV tournaments, and you've got to be proud of the fact that you're involved with those sort of people you're in the same you're in the same bracket as those you might not be the same ranking but you're in the same bracket you are in the top 128 players in the world so you know you've got to take some sort of confidence from that and go you know I can be and you know I can be as good as them or I am as good as them yeah um, you know it's um it does work in favors for us really yeah yeah, yeah. what what are the the sort of goals for the rest of the year there's only a certain amount of pro tours left a few mm -hmm. euro tours i believe i'm not sure how many but obviously it's backed up with a lot of tv tournaments towards the end of the year what do you sort of set yourself as a as a goal is it just winning games and seeing where it leads yeah yeah it's, it's one game at a time um is, is the way i've always i've always worked one game at a time and then and then move on for each game um I do have a few pro tours left. Um, had a couple of wins last week, so it puts a bit of money on the rankings. But I do have Jenna, which I qualified for in mm -hmm. when, September 8th, 9th, I think. Yeah. That weekend. So hopefully I have a good run, run over there. I do like playing over in Germany. So it's, um, you know, I love playing on a stage. So it could be my sort of uh, performance that pops out of the bag, you know. Mm -hmm. 
Um, but no, it's just one game at a time and try and try and qualify for the big tournaments as well, and just one last big push, yeah. uh, and just give it my all. Um, like I've been doing the last two years, it's just not worked out. But recently, I know I'm playing well again. So yeah, that's what it is. One one last big push, and we saw the other day with Keegan Brown coming from absolutely nowhere to go and win a Pro Tour title and a huge stack of money on his ranking. And he's now in a position where he looks like he might be keeping his tour card. Mm -hmm. It only takes one run like that. And when you see players like Keegan Brown do it, mm -hmm. it's, it's possible, isn't it? Yeah, of course. Of course. I mean, Keegan's a quality player anyway. Um, and we all, we all know he's, he's always had that sort of thing in the bag. So if he can do it, I can do it. You know, I mean, I did it from the challenge tour when I got my tour card initially 56th in the rankings and the last weekend, and I pulled off two wins, a couple of last dates, and I ended up getting my tour card through that. So it is possible, you know. It's possible to have a really good run, keep my tour card, brilliant, yeah. and then move on from there. What would the what would the plan be for you next year if you weren't to be in a position where you were to retain your tour card? Would you be going back to Q school? Would you be looking at all the amateur options that are now available? Um, no, I'd be going back to Q school, definitely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if I didn't, uh, if it wasn't uh, lucky enough to keep my uh, tour card, which I'm going to give it my all, but um, if I wasn't, then I'd be definitely going back to Q school. Mm. Definitely, yeah. And with, the, have, and with the have, way your your game is at the moment, mm -hmm. you'd you'd give yourself a very good chance of coming through that. I mean, look at look at some of the averages you're posting on that pro tour, and it's you you've got to say the game's in a good position. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and the experience as well. Yeah. The experience of being on the Pro Tour for the last two years, playing against the best in the world, it's it's a no-brainer for me that I've got that confidence, I've got that experience to go up against the, the people that haven't had that experience. And you could be 4-0 down on a first to five but because I've got that experience of winning games from that position. Yeah. You know, and you come back, you win, and you find a way to win. Yes. Yeah. I know. Um, yes. Mm. Mm. Prior to to getting your tour card, obviously you competed on what was then the 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 BDO circuit. Mm -hmm. We're seeing the growth of the WDF circuit. We're seeing the ADC. We're seeing uh, even Modus Live League. There's there's so many options for players mm -hmm. outside the one two eight now, and for players that want to progress and move on to the Pro Tour, they've got that chance to to perform in a a highly pressurised and highly competitive environment. Of course, of course. I mean, the 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 stuff that Steve Brown's doing with the ADC, um, you know, the WDF tournaments that they're doing as well. Um, obviously, um, Modus doing the online league. And it, it's fantastic. I, I mean, I've always said it from the start, if it wasn't for Modus online league when it first started, I probably wouldn't be where I am now. Mm. You know, because that gave me the confidence and the practice to be competitive against the top players in the world. Um, so if you know if if it can come from obviously myself and Richie Edhouse were two of the players that played in the first lot, and we both got our tour cards at the same time. So you know, and um, it proves that it works. Um, but no, it's it's amazing what like the ADC and Steve Brown are doing for for the amateur side. It's amazing. Um, and some of those players, would you class them as amateurs? Mm, it's one of those. Uh, some of us, some of them have been on the been on the tour for years and then just dropped off. But you know, um, everyone's a professional in their own right. If they think about, if they think they are a professional, then why not go for it? Yeah, uh, it's all about professionalism, isn't it? So, yeah. That's you mentioned it. um, you mentioned the Euro Tour earlier, and that one you've got coming up in in early September. Do you really enjoy those those stage opportunities? Because before you're on the Pro Tour, you'd obviously played a little bit on the WDF, but in front of cameras and the lights and a big, big crowd, are those opportunities that you really enjoy? Yeah, yeah. L love it. From from the day I started playing county county darts and obviously playing for Lancashire, it's probably one of the one of the best stages you can be in front of. You know, it's um, you know, you've got two, three hundred people at a time coming to watch and Especially when it's the uh, Lancashire Yorkshire Derby, but mm. um, you know it, it's really good because the atmosphere is there. You know you do have a camera because people are watching, and you know you've got the walk-on music, you've got people supporting you. It, it's one of my things. Just love playing on stage in front of people and and just putting on a performance for people. Mm. You know, wow. So 
if I can bring my stage game to my floor game, it might be different. You know, it's, um, that's it. But no, I love it. Absolutely love playing on stage. That's just about practice, though, isn't it? Bring it to the floor and getting yeah. getting the practice hours in. And who have you got at the moment in terms of practice partners? Who are you are you playing with? Um, on and off, really. Everyone, um, Stephen, Tim Bunting, um, Joe Man and Peter Hudson. Um, my mate Mark. When I go down and see Mark Kingdon, um, there's loads of people really. Um, just on and off. Mm. Uh, that's it. But mainly ones like, um, I mean, Tuesday nights I play, play on a Tuesday night with Stephen. Um, and uh, Super League as well, play that with Pete Hudson, Joe Mern and Brad Brooks. Mm. So, you know, we've got a decent Super League team anyway. But uh, <laughs> Not bad players to have around. No, yeah, no, definitely not, definitely not. Um, but no, it's, it's just, it's all when and when and when they can, really. You know, we... Yeah. Gonna have a practice with Joe and Pete and Stephen and stuff like that. So yeah, yeah. it's been a been a pleasure catching up, mate. Thank you very much Thank for your you. time. And uh, yeah, we wish you the best of luck for the next few months. And hopefully, you will be in that top sixty four come the end of the year. And we have a uh, another couple of years of uh, David Evans on the Pro Tour. Absolutely. Let's hope. Fingers crossed. <laughs>